Hello everyone, welcome back to Supply Chain Way. In this video, we are going to learn about a theory called Cano model. It will help you to know what your customer wants. So let's get it started. So to understand the Cano model, we are going to do a small exercise. It will take probably uh, five to 10 minutes of your time, which will clearly explain you what is a Cano model. And Cano model can be used as a tool to capture voice of customer as well. Okay, so let's start with this exercise. Now what you have to uh, do is just pause this video, go and find a piece of paper and pencil, come back and then play this video. Okay, so you got your uh, pencil and paper. Now, the exercise is, there is an offer from a two-wheeler manufacturer to you. And the offer is, you will get a two-wheeler at free of cost. And very importantly, whatever you ask in the two-wheeler will be provided to you. It could be of the, the color you want, the shape you want, and whatever the power you want. All what you ask for in that two-wheeler will be manufactured as per your specifications and which will be provided to you. So what you need to do is take next two to three minutes of your time to quickly document all your requirements like color, power, mileage and all you need in your two-wheeler and keep it ready and we will review that in a while. So please pause this video, go back, complete your requirement of what you need in your two-wheeler and then come back and play this video. Okay, now that you are ready with your requirements, let's quickly go through your requirement. So keep your uh, piece of paper with those requirements ready. First one, have you mentioned that you need a seat in your two-wheeler? No, then you will get a two-wheeler, but there won't be any seat. You may have to find a way how you are going to drive your two-wheeler without sitting on it. Number two, have you mentioned that you need a stand? No? Then you will get a two-wheeler without a stand. You may have to find a way how you are going to park your two-wheeler. Have you mentioned that you need a wheel? No? So you may get a two-wheeler with a great powerful engine which has a capability to deliver a great mileage as well but there won't be any wheel. You need to find a way how you are going to drive it on the road. How rude, isn't it? Hey, come on, these are all the basic requirements in a two-wheeler, isn't it? Exactly. So these are all the basic requirements in any product, which is called the basic attributes. It is also called as the unspoken needs of the customer. The customer will never say a thing about it, but they will expect it to be there on the product. If you don't provide it, it will lead to a great dissatisfaction for the customer. The second one is the performance needs. The performance needs are the spoken ones. If you just see your paper, what you have written, definitely you would have talked about mileage. Definitely you would have talked about the power. All these things are related to the performance. This is what mostly the customers will talk about. And those are called the performance attributes. So in a performance attribute, the more, the better. If you give more mileage, more happy customers. If you give more power, more happy customers. This is always like you give more, the more happier the customers are. The last one is the excitement needs. The excitement needs as well won't be specifically told by the customer. But if that is provided by the business, that will give that wow factor, that delight to the customers. So there are three attributes part of the requirements of the customer, the basic performance and the excitement. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to plot that in a small graph. So on the X axis, you have the degree of achievement, how well you have achieved that attribute. And on your Y axis, you have the satisfaction of the customer. So let's first talk about the basic needs. As I've told you, if the organization has not provided the basic requirement, like for example, you didn't talk about the seat or a stand, but if that is not provided on your two wheeler, that will lead to a great dissatisfaction. So the satisfaction of the customer is at the least. Okay. But if it is provided, all those basic requirements have been provided in a two-wheeler, will you be jumping out? 
no you won't you will be you will be right okay it is there and i am kind of satisfied so it is not a great satisfaction but it is somewhat over here now coming back to the performance needs of the customer if that is not provided as well will lead to a, a greatest dissatisfaction if provided it will lead to highest level of satisfaction so this is over here now in terms of excitement needs if it is not provided it may not uh, give any kind of a greatest dissatisfaction because the customer is not asking for it so it is somewhat over here but if given to the customer it will lead to a greatest satisfaction now if we connect all this in the form of a line this is how the graph will look like so this is for your basic this is for your performance and this is for your delight or excitement needs so this is nothing but the cano model a theory of product development and customer satisfaction developed in the 1980s by professor cano i want to just give one last insight which is very very crucial and then i'm going to uh, sum up this video the different attributes what you have seen as basic performance delight these are not static let me give you an example let's consider a cano model for stay in a hotel 10 years before wifi will fall into a delight attribute now within 10 years it has slowly moved into a basic attribute think about you check into a hotel even before you get the key hey can you please give me the wifi password isn't it even though you didn't ask specifically while booking is there and wifi but if wifi is not there that will lead to a dissatisfaction for you that is why you should use the market research and other analytical tools as well as the survey tools to know your customers well capture those information and then plot them in the form of a cano in this the very very crucial information which tend to be missed by the business or those basic attributes So that's it from this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions related to Cano, please feel free to leave me a note in the comment section. I would be glad to answer them uh, back for you. Thank you.